This is Inside Texas Politics with Jason Whiteley on WFAA. Time now for Reporters Roundtable to put the headlines in perspective. Ross Budd and Bernadine Steptoe, WFAA's political producer, here each week. But Ross, let's start with you and the, and the big shakeup in the Democratic uh, Senate primary here in the state. An unexpected and big endorsement for MJ Hager. Tell us who it's from and how much weight it carries. It's from the Democratic Senate Campaign Committee, and it's important because there's a dozen candidates in this race, and they're all virtually unknown, and every little bit helps. This is a signal to donors and to institutional supporters in the Democratic Party that Hager is the candidate that the senators like best, and so could mean some money and some attention to her in a race where money and attention are all there is. But the big question is why endorse in the primary, though? Why not wait until the general? I think the party, one other the the campaign committee wants to send this message and put a Purple Heart veteran on top of the ticket. They want MJ Hager. They want her to be at the top of the ticket and help uh, bring voters out. Uh, this is just to say that they like her better than Royce West or Chris Bell. Bernadine, what do you make of this? I think it has risk because as soon as the endorsement came out, you had some of the other candidates in the race who uh, called out the Democratic Party. And, and basically said that they were ignoring the minorities in the party. And the party is primarily made up of minority voters. So there was a big backlash. Now, how long it lasts, we'll see. But there, uh, what came with that endorsement was a lot of risk. Mm. Jason, this is right. If it turns out with a Biden-Hager top of the ticket, Democrats are going to be asked where's all this diversity you talk about. That's yes. a good, good, good point. And Ross, this, this was a sleepy race before. Does this endorsement really shake things up? Well, I think it, you know, it puts a favorite in a race that didn't have a favorite. You know, it's still really early. A lot of things could happen. But the Democrats are also looking for a stopper after the presidential race. We don't have straight ticket voting anymore. They're trying to win all of these congressional districts, the six where Republicans left, a couple of others they've targeted. And they want a candidate in the Senate race who won't run people off. All right, Bud, the other big endorsement is uh, President Trump endorsed Congresswoman Kay Granger over in Tarrant County. Is this all the help she needs to, to get past the primary now? Is the race over? Well, this is interesting. This is a big happy union because Kay was very uh, skeptical of Trump two years ago in the general election. Uh, never really did warm up to him. Finally, begrudgingly at the end said that she would recommend voting the Republican ticket. Uh, now you know, he needs her help on appropriation. She needs his help. And Lockheed and the Trinity Project, you know, the, uh, so President Trump is helping uh, Congresswoman Granger. Her opponent, Chris Putnam from Colleyville, uh, had, you know, right at the beginning saying that she didn't do enough to help Trump. Trump thinks he's, she's doing enough. Bernadine, what do you think? Is the race over? I think it's icing on her cake. Well, actually, double icing. <laughs> because the the criticism was that she wasn't doing enough for Trump in, in terms of supporting. And keep in mind, in 2016, she did not support uh, Trump. But with this type of endorsement, I think she's on her way to, to re-election. Yeah, and, and then, Ross, they uh, had that, that picture of them two together at the stadium as well, mm -hmm. too. Do you think this race is over? You know, I don't know that I would call the race, but it certainly is a, it goes right at what she was being challenged on, was that she wasn't yeah. um, in the party, she wasn't on the Trump side. That part's over. Yeah. Jason, it's really hard for somebody who's an unknown to get enough name ID in two months to win an election. You yeah. have to look at that. Super Tuesday is right. coming up. Guys, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching as well. ABC's This Week begins in just a moment here on WFAA. And we'll see you again next Sunday. Hope you have a Merry Christmas.